Hello followers, this is Plumbing Part 2, another video tutorial brought to you by University of Cebu, Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers. For our topics, we are going to define the following terms. Accessible, readily accessible, acid waste, adopting agency, air break, drainage system, air chamber, air cap, drainage system, air gap, water distribution system, anchors, anti-scald valve, area drain, aspirator. Definition of terms. All notes and comments added on the slides are highlighted yellow. Accessible and readily accessible. Accessible. Access thereto without damaging building surfaces, but that first may require the removal of an access panel, door, or similar structures with the use of tools. Readily accessible. Access without requiring the use of tools for removing or moving any panel, door, or similar obstruction. For example, in the picture, the valve is accessible if latch is screwdriver operated. Valve is readily accessible if latch is handle operated. Acid waste, see special waste. Adopting agency, see also authority having jurisdiction. The agency, board, or authority having the duty and power to establish the plumbing code that will govern the installation of all plumbing work to be performed in their jurisdictions. Air break in the drainage system. A piping arrangement in which a drain from the fixture, receptor, or interceptor at a point below the flood level rim and above the trap seal of the receptor. Note, air breaks are permitted where the backflow cannot occur due to back siphonage. Air chamber, a pressure surge observing device operating through the compressibility of air. Comment, the code no longer mentions air chambers. Air chambers were usually filled fabricated and were initially filled with air at atmospheric pressure. There was direct contact between the captive air and water, which permitted the air to be absorbed into the water over a period of time. The code now calls for water hammer arrestors, which are pre-charged with compressed air or gas and have bellows or pistons that separate the air or gas from the water. Notes 1. For maximum effectiveness, the water hammer arrestor should be oriented so that the direction of the shock wave caused by the quick closing valve is the arrestor. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions. 2. The number of elbows upstream from the water hammer arrestor should be minimized. Each elbow represents a point of shock and potential failure. Air cap drainage system. The unobstructed vertical distance to the free atmosphere between the outlet of the waste pipe and the flood level rim of the receptor into which is discharging. Comment. Air gas are required where backflow can occur due to back siphonage. Air cap water distribution system. The unobstructed vertical distance through the free atmosphere between the lowest opening from any pipe or faucet supplying water to a tank, plumbing fixture or other device, and the flood level rim of the receptor. Comment number one. The minimum required air cap distance is based on the effective opening of the water supply outlet. The air gap must be increased if the outlet is close to the walls or other vertical surfaces. Comment number two, if air is being drawn into the tub spout by a vacuum in the water supply piping, wastewater at the flood level rim of the fixture will tend to be lifted upward to wash the spout opening with the flow of air. The water will lift higher if the spout opening is close to a wall. Anchors, C supports, anti-scald valve, C water temperature control valve. Approved, accepted, or acceptable under an applicable standard stated or cited in this code, or accepted as suitable for the proposed use under procedures and powers of the authority having jurisdiction. Area drain, a receptor designed to collect surface or storm water from an open area. 
aspirator, a feeding or device supplied with water or other fluid under positive pressure that passes through no integral orifice or constriction, causing a vacuum. Comment. Backflow prevention is required where the fluid supply is potable water. That ends our video tutorial for plumbing part 2. This is University of Cebu, Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers.